This is the schmo. The schmo. Here we are. This is the Smo with the pro. He's 28 and 6. He's the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. He's Home Depot's favorite shopper. He's the current number one UFC middleweight in the world. He's Tarzan, Deshaun Strickland in the flesh, Extreme Couture. How we doing? I'm doing good, man. I like the pink vest, dude. Pink's my uh, favorite color in a woman. I like it. We appreciate that. Long time no speak. You don't want to speak to the Schmo when you're champion. Now you want that title shot, so you're bringing the Schmo here into the gym. Interesting, guys. I won. Dana said I won. Rogan said I won. We all know I won. I went to Canada, you guys. I went to Canada, and I fought in front of the commies, and they they shafted me. Dreykus wants it. I won it. Win your title like a man, my friend. You know you, know you got to get from God. Let's run this shit back, settle it like men. That's all I'm trying to say, settle it like a man. But what are you hearing from the UFC brass? Why haven't they given you the opportunity for the rematch for the title shot? It was such a close fight there in Canada. You know, man, I don't really talk to UFC much. All the UFC tells me to shut up. But you guys, let me tell you something about the UFC. I deserve that rematch. And if they don't give me that rematch, they're just not, they're just not one of us. If they don't give me that rematch, understand, it's for one reason and one reason alone. They want me to shut the f up, so we, will, we all know what will happen. We'll find out. Well, if they don't give it to you, who do you think is going to get the opportunity? Do you think it's going to be Adesanya? Do you think it's going to be Cannoneer? I, I don't know, dude. I, I don't care, man. I'm, you know, I'm at a good point in my life. I don't even have to fight. I don't give a f about the belt. I want to fight. Dreykus. It needs to happen, and we need to find out who won, bottom line. That's it. That's it. That's all it is, man. They fucking... I, I never cared about the belt. I still don't. I just know you didn't win. Dana thought I, everybody thought I, the world thought I won. The score, the the striking thought I won. Just run this shit back. Let's handle it. You beat me fair and square. I'll put the belt around your waist. And if for some reason they don't give you him, is that fight? Is there someone else that you'd be willing to dance with? No, nah, man. I don't care, dude. I'm in, I'm gonna. You know, life's good. I'm rich, you guys. It's kind of weird. Well, I could retire. And how weird that is, and not the work. Fucking life's strange, guys. Really strange. But I don't care. I'm just focusing on that fight. And if that doesn't happen, we'll talk about it. But as of now, he wants it. I want it. Make that shit fucking happen to the death. You think the UFC's upset with you for, you know, boxing these influencers, that Sneeko guy or what? Oh, my God, dude. The, the UFC. You know, the thing about the UFC is Dana is a definition of free speech. He supports it to such a degree, but the UFC is financed by, you got Bud Light, you got all these massive corporations that even though Dana might be like, hey, I love what, Sh I, I let Sean say what want, there's a lot of very wealthy people telling him to shut me up. And not just shut me up, shut you guys up. Because you have to understand, everything I say is things you say. Everything I say is what the UFC fans say. So anytime you, anytime they reprimand me, just understand they reprimand you guys. So if I don't get that title shot, we all know we need it. We all know we want it. The UFC wants it. The UFC fans want it. If I don't get that title shot, just fucking cracking the whip. That's all That's all they're trying to do. Hey, what'd you make of the interaction between John Bones Jones and Tommy Aspinall this past weekend? No, I didn't watch it, man. It's fucking... I didn't watch it. Well, they met face to face. They you fight. think that's the fight? No, that's they the thing. To, they try to fucking... <laughs> They try to buy cocaine off each other. What's going on, dude? No, I asked when I'll put his hand on his shoulder, sized him up. Then what would you do if you're John Jones at the Schmo had your hand right there? What I mean, would you do? Was he being friendly about it or he was took he took his hand away? No, oh, that's fair. I mean, I don't know, man. Was he being friendly about they it? They were friendly. Yeah, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, John Jones is a piece of shit. I know that. The whole world knows that. We don't need to re reiterate his past. He needs to sack up. Fight Aspinall and fucking just get the shit done. What about Conor McGregor? Is he going to be fighting in 2024? What's the holdup you think there? I don't know, man. Do we really care about Conor McGregor these days? I mean, he's a juiced out, roided out guy. I mean, do we do we still care about Conor McGregor? Is he still a name in the UFC? Dude, go retire in a yacht. Be done with your shit. What do you make of the big boxing match that's going to happen between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? The schmo knows you wanted to spar with uh, Jake Paul. I wanted to murder Jake Paul, but um, it's bullshit, man. It's... Uh, I mean, how old is Mike Tyson? 60? 57. 57. Uh, Jake Paul? 27. You, you are a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. You are the scum of the earth. 
the fact that you even have a platform or anything of that nature is a slight on society. You truly make me fucking disgusted. And if I ever encounter you in real life, I hope that I just don't lose my shit and go to prison. You're the people's champ. What's the weirdest thing you've been asked to put your John Hancock on since you've been champ? No, oh, man, you guys, I don't leave my house. You guys know this. You guys don't see me out in the wild. I don't leave my house. I stay inside where it's safe and quiet. <laughs> Come on. You shoot guns. You ride motorcycles. Yeah, I don't leave my house, though, guys. I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs, man. I, it's nice and quiet and safe where I live. It's nice. Not always. For seven months, the schmo's been trying to give you a gift for becoming the champion because a lot of people didn't see it, but... Uh, it's about time this thing was collecting some dust to Sean. There it is. Bottle of Henny. Let me say, Smo, you're one of the real ones. You're one of the OGs. He was one of the, he was the guys that first interviewed me. Like, you're one of the real ones, dude. You're one of the good ones. We appreciate that. We got to get you that title shot again. Yeah, let's fucking do it, man. The UFC, the UFC fans want it. I want it. To the death, as always, make it happen. And can we get a final message for all the Deshaun Strickland fans out there worldwide? Man, I appreciate you guys. You guys always ride with me, man. You know, even my last fight, dude, if they had it my way, they would have canceled me, sent my ass back to uh, America. But if it wasn't for you guys supporting me, I want to be where I'm at. So, you know, my success is your success. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. He's the pro. I'm the schmoin wearing a shirt. We're out. Yeah.